all heard the horror stories of shopping on Black Friday. Sometimes they even sound dangerous with pushing and shoving. But that's not the same kind of horror story one woman experienced in Colorado Springs. She says what she found inside of a purse she was about to buy is much worse. KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman brings us the story new at noon. I'm glad that I found it, not the kids. Rowena Stabetta decided to brave Black Friday. She came here to this ARC thrift store off North Academy. That's where a purse caught her eye. Pull it up to look at the outside of it, and then I reach my hand in to feel the lining and pull out what I think is a pen, and it's an uncapped syringe. At least four dirty syringes inside this tan purse she was ready to buy. Immediately, Stabetta pulled an employee aside. She, you know, says, We're going to look into it. We think that someone dumped the belongings into the bag. And so, sure, is that possible? I guess so. Um, but then more, I think, what happened is that they just didn't sort through it. She said that, you know, definitely uh, there could be room for error in the back where the bags are sorted. Now, ARC says every item that's brought through these doors is properly inspected and closely looked at before it hits the sales floor. They say in this case, this bag didn't go through that process because it wasn't a donation. We received a written statement from ARC. In part, it reads, quote, The item in question does not fit store protocol for the resale of donated items due to its poor quality and the way in which it was priced and tagged. They're stating that someone must have come in and swapped their bag and then stapled a price tag onto it. I don't carry a stapler around with me. I don't know if you do. ARC says they're reviewing surveillance video and conducting a thorough investigation. My intent is not to take business from the ARC. I think they're a wonderful organization that does a lot for the community. But I do think that it's totally acceptable for us as customers to expect that they hold a certain level of safety and standard. In Colorado Springs, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. ARC also told us it takes these matters very seriously and considers the safety of employees and shoppers of the utmost importance. A Colorado